North Korea's version of a parliament met on Wednesday. That's the Supreme People's Assembly, a body that in theory determines state policy, though in practice wields little power of its own. Leader Kim Jong-un was apparently not there, and though many were watching for some mention of the upcoming inter-Korean summit, it seems there was none. Instead, it dealt with the regime's budgets for last year and this year, and a change in Kim Jong-un's inner circle. Lee ji has more. The sixth session of the 13th Supreme People's Assembly was held in North Korea on Wednesday, where the regime finalized decisions on budget and power structure. North Korea state-run Korean Central News Agency reported Thursday that Kim Young-nam, president of the Supreme People's Assembly Presidium of North Korea, and Choi ryong hye vice chairman of the State Affairs Commission, were among the party, cabinet and ministry officials that attended. Seeing how the regime's supreme leader Kim Jong-un was not mentioned, he is seen to have missed the meeting. The report said Deputy Park Bong-ju, premier of the cabinet, reported on the cabinet's work toward carrying out the five-year strategy for national economic development last year, during which Park said the army and people made great progress on revitalizing local production. Park said many factories and enterprises achieved their yearly gross industrial output value plans and that this proves that no desperate sanctions and pressure moves of the U.S. and its forces can harm the North Koreans' firm faith in building a powerful socialist country. At the meeting, the Assembly also reviewed the use of last year's budget and finalized this year's budget, which is 5.1 percentage points higher than last year. 47.6 percent of the budget will be used to strengthen the independence of North Korea's national economy and improve the standard of living. That's an increase of 4.9 percentage points. The regime's budget for military capabilities also winched up 0.1 percentage point to account for 15.9 percent of the total fund. Shifts in power structure were also discussed at the meeting. Upon Kim Jong-un's proposal, Hwang byung seo was dismissed from the post of State Affairs Commission Vice Chairman. Hwang was once known as the second most powerful official in the regime as a former military's top political officer. But since he was allegedly punished for his bureau's impure attitude, he has since been pushed out of Kim's inner circle. Unlike the speculation that there would be a special message at the meeting with the upcoming summits ahead, there were no notes or related legislation on the matter. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.